Hello ladies and gentlemen, you join me on a beautiful June afternoon down at Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've had a lovely uh, day full of cloudy, but puffy white cloudy skies, wind and sun. It's lovely. I've got the pussycat there eating its tea. And over here we've got the sickman. This is what I'd like to show you. Now your sickman outside, they'll have no leaf on at the moment, but you may have these seed pods. And these seed pods are starting to split open at the moment. I went over this whole lot this morning. Look, there's another one that's split open. And uh, so th it's a good idea to check them every day. If you've got these seed pods on them, check them every day. Get the seeds before the ants do, because the ants will go for them, because they're all sugary coated. And we've got one coming into bud already, late June, and we have got cyclamen starting to flower. I actually had one flower here, and there's a flower there that's already been pollinated. That's seed for next year. And I've got one that's a right old unusual one here. Look, they're, they're normally like this at this time of year. So if your sixth one aren't coming up, there is no need to email me. <laughs> they are absolutely fine. They don't usually come up till July or August. Um, sometimes a bit later. Um, so here we are, loads of seed pods, all these things. But this one here, he's come into flower already. It's still got a leaf from last year. And we've got the seed pods on it. It's like all the bits of the year that happened to Cyclamen, apart from that one, um, all in one pot. Isn't that incredible? Don't know why, but that's nature for you. What else have we got going on? Oh, our Agapanthus are starting to pop. We're starting to get some Agapanthus flowers starting to come out. Now, I missed them last year because uh, I went nuts and I was asleep <laughs> for months. So uh, I'm really wanting to take photos of them this year because all the flowers are individual. They're really quite special. Blue, white, and blue and white stripes. There's all the buds coming on. And here we have one that is just starting to open. Look at that. Now, if you've got these in the garden and they're starting to do that, don't think you need to help them. You'll usually do more damage than, um, I know this from bitter experience. Nature has been doing this for millions of years. Just let it get on with it. But uh, yeah, and a bonsai, so, well, bonsai, I don't know if that's the right word. I've made some go small. So if you haven't got, like these things, they're from 2014 seed sowing. They are right old beasts, you know, if you want something big in your garden. Um, but I've got these that are just in the much smaller pots like that. And I've got them to flower. So we've got loads of these buds coming up. It was a bit of an experiment, it's worked. One of my few experiments that did actually work. Oh, look at that, that looks like that might be a white one coming. But these turn into big old ball flowers, you know, with lots of little flowers coming out the edges. And what else we got? Oh, I'll just show you the diorama. They have just started flowering and I brought a few in. They are lovely, they are so elegant. Look at these. They were on Gardener's World the other night. Um, and they're these long arching things that come out of a sort of insignificant grass-like plant. They don't look like much. In fact, earlier in the spring, they look like dead grass, but then they do this. And these are all buds. They look like grass kernels or something, but they're not, they're buds. So all these flowers, they've only just started flowering. So all the way down there, we will have these beautiful flowers. And there are different ones. There's lighter pink ones, some grow large. This one here, look, it's got a little flower that points up. Beautiful, delicate little thing. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, this has been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery, just showing you that the diorama is starting to come into flower. I will get them online. I should get them online. Everyone wants them. People track me down to find them. <laughs> and, um, and our agapanthus are starting to pop as well. Anyway, thank you for watching.